So, with the last lesson, we got uh, set up with our programming environment, and th so this lesson is going to be guiding us through uh, creating our first C program. So, uh, as you can see, things may look a little bit different than, than the uh, previous lesson. That's because I am reprogramming using a MacBook, uh, just because of the technical reasons for the screen recording and issues with recording that in Ubuntu. But uh, for the most part, everything should be very transparent to you guys. Uh, should be able to translate well to uh, what you're doing on uh, Ubuntu. So um, we're going to be starting fresh here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now uh, create a new directory for me to start programming out of. So I'm going to use my ls command to see where I'm at. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new directory. So I'm going to call this new directory C progs. So we see that the C progs directory was created. So I'm going to go ahead and go inside that directory now. All right, so we got a new fresh directory here, nothing inside. So let's go ahead and create our first uh, C program. So uh, I think the best way uh, to learn uh, programming is to start to diving into it, and then we'll go, go ahead and walk through uh, what we're looking at. But let's go ahead and create our first program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type vim, and then I'm going to name, name the file something. So this file is going to be called hello.c. Now you can call this uh, whatever you want. Uh, but it needs to end with that .c file extension. So it could be vim by.c, vim um, truck.c, I mean, whatever you want to call it, but we'll just call it hello.c for now. All right, so now we're inside vim, and we're uh, free to go ahead and start programming. So what we need to do uh, first is get into the insert mode. So we'll type the i. Now we're in insert mode. So let's. So the first thing we have to type is pound include space then using these uh, I think they're called carrots or what whatnot but uh, standard uh, stdio.h in that carrot go ahead and put an empty line in there and then we'll do main bracket printf Use our uh, parentheses here with uh, some quotes. Hello, world. New line in that. All right. So hopefully you just kind of followed through there what I what I typed out. And let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and just walk through it first. So this is essentially a. Uh, C program. And so a program is basically going to contain two things. It's going to contain functions and it's going to contain variables. So this program actually doesn't even have variables. It's so simple that it doesn't even need any variables. But all your programs are going to contain functions, at least one. And the function we have here is called the main function. Um, now most functions can be named anything. But the main function is a very special function because the main function will be in all your uh, programs because uh, all programs look for a main function. This main function is where the program starts. So it's basically going to look through this file, look, through a, look for a main function, find that main function, which is right here, um, and then it's going to start executing on the first line here in, in the main. So the first line is going to be our printf line. Okay. So a function is going to contain statements. And a statement is basically uh, what the computing operations is going to be happening. So it's what does these statements are telling uh, the computer what to do, so to speak. They're, they're commands. So our first statement, we, well, the only statement we have in this program is the printf statement. So this printf is a command. Um, it actually calls a different function. So what is this printf function? Well, it's, it's a function that will tell the, um, the computer to print this out to the command line. Um, how does it know how to do this? Well, the printf function was defined in something called a library. With a library, you can create lots of functions and explain how they work to the computer. 
So this was created in a library called the Standard Input Output Library. And that's what we have up here. We told the computer to include this standard library so that it so that we can use the functions that is contained within that standard uh, input library. We can use those functions in our own program. So someone's already created this library for us and they've already created and defined the print uh, function. And so all we're doing is is pulling that in, linking it, and then uh, calling this function later on in our own program. All right, so what else do we have here in our main function? So all functions are going to have an argument list. Arguments is things that we can basically feed into the function. So this is a very basic function, and it's so basic that it doesn't even need arguments. So arguments are going to go inside these parentheses here. This is called the argument list. Uh, since, like I said before, we don't have any arguments, so we essentially can just leave this blank since we don't have any. Now, the printf function does take arguments. The printf uh, function is going to be taking um, the sequence of characters to print to the screen as its argument. So we call, so this is the printf function name here. And then basically here, we're uh, uh, listing our arguments. So we have one argument, which is a uh, list of characters. And the list of characters, we're encapsulating these characters. Well, first of all, the arguments can encapsulate by the parentheses, as indicated by here. And then we're encapsulating the argument with quotes, double quotes. So um, these quotes encapsulate all those characters. So uh, this is pretty standard, um, hello, comma, space, world. Uh, then you might be wondering what this uh, backslash n is. Okay, so a backslash n um, is a something. It's something special. It's called an escape sequence. So when we're uh, when we're printing out these characters, it's going to be printing out each character individually. So H is one character, E is one character, L is one character, so on. So this backslash n is actually considered a single character, and this is going to be the new line character. So what this is going to do is going to print out hello, comma, space, world, and then it's going to uh, interpret this as a single character and print out a new line. So uh, when we're printing, it's going to print out hello world and print out the new line so that the new line in, in the command line goes down to the next line. So there are many different escape sequence characters that we can type. For example, what if we wanted a quotation mark here in between uh, hello and world if we wanted a quote like this. Well this is a problem because as you can see uh, it's going to be saying this is it's going to be taking this hello comma as a, as the input argument and then we just have this slapped on here at the end and it doesn't really know what to do with it. It doesn't, doesn't really know what this even is. So what we have to do is we have to escape out this double quotes by placing that backslash. Now, uh, the, the program is going to kind of um, ignore uh, these quotes and not consider those quote, double quotes as part of the encapsulating the argument. It's going to essentially just ignore that and send it on to the printf function to print out to the command line. So that's what that uh, backslash uh, character essentially does. So. Um, now, with, as I said before, so this will be printing a double quote character, where this is printing a new line character. A new line character is something you can actually see, so to speak, like we can see a double quote. We can't really see a new line character. All we essentially do is, all we see is just that the fact that the line went down to the next line. So a semicolon is how we end a statement within the C, uh, within the C program. So this is telling the program that this statement is now finished. Uh, so that's all that semicolon there means. Um, all the statements within the main function have to be encapsulated with these curly braces and that's why um, those were there. So as you can see, um, Vim actually does kind of a nice job of highlighting the parentheses and highlighting these curly braces just showing you that this is where the curly braces start and down there is where they end. So that just kind of gives you some uh, it's a visual indicator of you know, what's inside of those braces because later on when things get more complicated that becomes very helpful. 
So I think we've uh, talked about everything inside this program. Only thing left to do is to actually run it. But before we can run it, we still have to save it because we're still right now in insert mode. And we haven't really saved anything. So we need to escape out of insert mode. So we hit the escape key and that gets us out of that mode. Now we can save it and we can save a program by typing colon w and that's how we save. I think that means like write to disk. We're actually going to save it now. So that's saved. It says that it's been written, so that means that it's been saved. So now we can exit again by typing uh, colon Q, plus it's to quit out of them. So now we're back here at terminal. So how do we run the program? Well, let's make sure that the program is actually there. We do an ls, and sure enough, there's a hello.c. So we can uh, verify that hello.c has actually uh, been created. All right, so let's go ahead and compile it. That is our next step to do. So we compile it just by having cc and type hello.c. Alright, so after compiling, uh, we see that we uh, have this warning and saying that type specifier is missing. It's going to default to int. So that might not mean a whole lot to you right now. Um, a warning is just to show us that um, something may or may not be correct. Um, that it compiles correctly. It actually did compile, but it's saying that um, just letting you know that, hey, uh, we think you might have missed something. It's still going to su supposedly work, but uh, we think there's, there might, might be something missing. So that's all that's telling us right now. Uh, we'll go more into that later. But let's see uh, what it compiled. And sure enough, there is our a.out. So now that we have an a.out uh, file, we can actually run this file and uh, see what it uh, see what the output is. So in order to run it, all we have to do is type a period, a slash, and then a dot out. And once we type that, we hit the enter the return or enter key, and um, there is the output hello comma space world, and with that new line character, which allows um, Tom's MacBook Air to jump down to the new line. So that is the output of our program, and that is essentially your first uh, C program. Okay, so that hopefully shows you the output um, you can expect um, from that program now. And so now we can go back inside the program and maybe play around with it just a little bit more. So we can go back in just typing vim hello.c. Alright, so let's go ahead and play around with this just a little bit more. First of all, what happens if we were to get rid of the semicolon. Let's go ahead and just save that without the semicolon. Exit out. And we see that uh, hello.c is there and a.out is still there. Um, if you were to compile it right now, it's going to overwrite the a.out. Um, so what we, what we can do is we can just get rid of the a.out. By doing that, just type in type rm space a.out and that will get rid of it. Be careful when using that because whatever you remove, it's gone for good. So. Uh, be careful using that command. But sure enough, hello.c is still there, so we can go ahead and compile that now and see what happens. Error. Expected semicolon after expression. So this is telling you that the, the, the uh, so we still have the same warning as before, but now we have this error. And this error is telling us that, that there's a serious problem, that the program could not compile. Um, so if we do an ls, we see that there's no a dot out because it did not compile. And that's because we did not have that semicolon. It expects to see a semicolon to end the statement. And without that semicolon, uh, the, the compiler doesn't know what to do. So we're going to go back inside our hello.c program. Go back in insert mode. And we're going to re-add that semicolon. But now this time, let's take out the new line character. What if we had forgot that new line character? We'll go ahead and save, exit, and we'll go ahead and compile it. We still have a warning, but it now compiles. So let's go ahead and run a.out and see what it generates. All right, as you can see, there is our output, hello world. But this line here in, in terminal, this line here in the command line, 
uh, just get it just runs together it just ran together with this hello world output that's because we forgot that new line character uh, when we look up here somewhere let's see right right up here uh, as you can see up here uh, there how there was a new line the terminal jumped down to the next line and with this there was none so that just shows you how that new line character works so that's essentially what I wanted to do for the first lesson was just uh, have you guys generate your first a C program. Hopefully uh, that was a not good explanation for your first program. Uh, I'd like to uh, for you guys to go ahead and just play around with this program a little bit more. Um, I would uh, suggest trying to go in here and print out some new lines. So I've showed you how to just print out this one line. I showed you the first escape sequence. Um, you can go ahead and, and, and go online and Google uh, more of those characters if you'd like. And maybe try printing out some more uh, complicated uh, printf statements. Um, so to create another statement, all you have to do essentially is to go on a new line, printf, and then uh, once again the double quotes and try something else. So um, uh, hello universe. So go ahead and play around for a little bit more. Uh, see, uh, see what um, if, if if you can break things and kind of figure out what's breaking and figure out how to fix it. That's the best way to learn programming. So uh, go ahead and play around with it. And if something breaks, that's okay because um, you can always fall back to the to the basic program here. But uh, go ahead and play around with uh, breaking up these lines and printing out some more statements. And hopefully that will get you on your way to. Um, programming and learning how to program in C. So check out the other videos on my channel and thanks for watching.